All right, so in this demo, I'm gonna have the camera back here quite a bit further, and maybe that'll actually help. The, the bloody audio is so compressed in that thing. I, I do have to get set up. So today, this demo, what I'm doing is uh, I got a homemade uh, homemade TS-808. Now, in the normal position where there would be clipping diodes in the TS-808, I've taken those out. And generally speaking, what that'll do is give you a brighter, crisper distortion as opposed to a rectified, clipped, sort of limited sound, okay? And uh, that'll cut some of the crispness off when you use those rectifying diodes. Um, <clears throat> now, I don't need that because I'm getting my effect from this speaker. And what I was shooting for today was the sound of an, a good old country amp almost. Like this one, 110 watts. When you turn this thing up, like way up, you get this distortion that's created from the main power stage, not so much from the um, not so much from the from the preamp, right? And uh, it's a different kind of distortion. It's a very flabby distortion. In a lot of ways, a lot of guys would go, "Oh, that's 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 really kind of gross," and you know that's understandable. It's all a matter of. Uh, your ears and what what you're after now the one thing I do like about it though is when you're doing like for example Steve Miller or uh, Just good old rock and roll and especially surf music um, It has this sort of warm feel of a, <laughs> a Shitty old amplifier turned way too loud basically is what was it but with this you get it at that low at that low level, and it, it's kind of neat. It's it's something on its own, eh? and uh, it's it's kind of interesting to come about it, to come at it, get it from a different direction than say turning up an old silver tone or something, because that's what it sounds like an old silver tone amp, just pen, old tube amp. So, <coughs> so this is a Strat guitar on the bridge pickup. distortion that when I let the note peter out to nothing it doesn't end up in some crackling and while that's not totally important if you just you know that you're never gonna hear it when you do that but when you hit a note you don't want it to go at the end right and that's that's something that I'm looking for in the filtering and that sort of thing. If you're watching these videos, you drop by and uh, check out the links that I show you in the description there. Some, some great channels to watch.